That was a lot better. So I would start you here, okay? Middle of the ring. I would always pre-turn the lower body, set the sprint leg. So this pushes comes behind so that I'm on top. We have to have that axis lined up. That was good. This continues to rotate and you're gonna create torque. Oh, okay, this feels familiar. Does that make sense? Yeah. Discus in general is very horizontal. Yeah. So as the hip accelerates, that's what makes the discus go, okay? So if we go up, We've got our force going this way, and we need our force going that way. That's okay. Even though you, you wind back, you're holding this hip fairly well, but you come around and immediately go into short, which is gonna create a short shoulder path. You feel that? Yeah. So this knee is gonna come, bring your knee this way. You wanna be always in this position. See that? Good. Yeah, you're cutting, you're going too short. That's what you're doing is what is more natural. What you're learning is unnatural. That's throwing, it's just unnatural. Now it was because you're short here, so you're short here. If this is long, this is long. There you go, so see how the band's basically off of your back? Now you're gonna feel the right balance points. Pillar six, we have, we're learning how to stop this side. This side has to be long. You're going short. I call this the stack. So it's usually foot, knee, hip, collarbone there that's the stack okay so that's setting an angle so that's a that's an easy way of remembering telling my athletes to set the angle twist the hip yes so you're a little used to shortening you feel that so when we hold the band and we're here we're gonna feel the arm shorten here and everything comes this way I don't want to feel my arm coming in like that. Okay, so that's why you're kind of jumping. Okay, that's the reaction. We want the optimal reaction. Everything you right now, you're just throwing short. This is your habit. And so then it comes from here, it kind of comes around short and then see it comes back to that position. That's physics, right? Action, reaction. That was actually better. So I'm gonna go this way, and now I'm gonna be this way, right? Okay? It's just a little bit longer than Exactly. That was already better, good job. You feel the difference? Yeah. So that's physics, right? This isn't, this is what I always tell everybody, this isn't my opinion. This is what physics has proven, right? That's your normal throw, okay? And that's a habit. That's what your body knows to do. That wasn't bad. That's okay. So it wasn't bad. I like the wind, but you un your hinge, your left leg action is incorrect. That was closer. I like the left arm a lot better. Left foot. Yeah, that was a lot better. That was close. So you had the right idea. So just still hit your one, two, three, four sequence. That was close. That time, so you're turning better out of the back because you're keeping your knees apart. You're turning your left foot better. Ooh, that was close. That was a lot better just did first training session of three to four with uh, aspiring para-athlete, discus thrower, Ella Rodriguez. What do we do? We break down the six pillars of the throw. She has a prosthetic on the right leg, right side sweep side, delivery side prosthetic. So there's gonna be some adjustments to the mechanics. She did a real good job. You know, just like any thrower, we're gonna assess, we're gonna look at her six pillars, explain how the chain reaction works, and we're gonna start identifying issues that are prevalent in all the pillars. So that's exactly what we did 
and she's got you know a short left side where she's shortening the arm and she's pulling herself out of position so she's moving and she's leading with the chest in the left side into the throw in the beginning so from pillar one to two so we utilized the bands she gave, she said some great stuff it was awesome she could really feel it it was making her more aware of it exaggerated positions that's exactly why we do it so at any rate really good session but what we're going to do over the next few days is really start breaking down those bad habits and really trying to teach her how to move better and we know exactly what we're going to be trying to attack and target and incorporating a lot of band work a lot of all of our pillar drills and pillar connection and putting it together and just having you know a good three four days of training so hopefully enjoy so check it out more is coming